Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys watching today's video. And have a really good video for you guys today. Something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about the most unusual skill that every angler actually has but needs to develop out there. And it's probably something you're never going to guess here. But it's something that's been extremely effective for myself and other anglers over the years in certain situations so i think you guys will get a lot out of this and like i said i don't think you're going to guess what it is so anyway guys real quick i just want to invite everybody anyone out there is interested in booking an on the water lesson with me you can do that by going to my facebook page randy block a professional angler and just shoot me a private message and i'll give you all the details for that so much appreciated okay guys bass fishing um if you guys watch my, most of my channel or watch my videos, you know I talk about it all the time, it being the, simply the most difficult sport that there is. There's so many variables that are uncontrolled variables and controlled variables. Um, there's just so much to it. I mean, there's just, there's everything from the weather to split rings to hooks to bass behavior to fishing pressure to moods and the personality of the fish. The list goes, you could write a book on it. It's, it's just super complex that's why fishing is so hard i mean most of the time there are days out there where you can catch them good but most of the time it's hard to catch fish so i want to share with you guys something that um it's it's hard to really put into words but it's something that works i don't really understand the mechanics of it it's a uh, it's because it's fairly deep um but if you talk to many anglers out there they may do this but not be consciously aware that they're doing it what I'm talking about is a skill that you've got to develop that all the anglers, all anglers and people possess is the, is the ability to manifest, manifest the success you have on the water based upon your thoughts and your visualizations and your intention. Now, this, even though this sounds far out there in left field, it's not. It's, a, it's an ability that every single one of us have because let me give you guys a prime example to simplify it. Let's say... Let's say when Thomas Edison developed the light bulb, initially the light bulb was a thought in Thomas Edison's head. There was, there was no physical manifestation of that bulb. It was just an idea, it was a thought that he had. And eventually that thought manifested into physical form. And if you look at anything around you in your world right now, look at the phone you're looking at now or the TV you're watching this video on, everything that's in your house, whatever, Every one of those things were initially a thought in somebody's mind that eventually manifested physically. And it's no different in fishing because we have the ability, not every single time, because there is an aspect of this that I do not understand. And uh, most people that, that understand what I'm gonna talk about here would agree with that. But let me give you an example of just one of the many times it's happened to me and one of the, one of the times that I've used this. I've always felt in my fishing that to some extent we have the ability to control the outcome of our tournament. I don't say that we have all the time. I don't say that um, it works all the time, but it has worked enough for me to realize that there's something to it beyond just coincidence. I'll, I'll give one example of this. I was fishing a tournament, <clears throat> it's been about 15 years ago on Kentucky Lake um, FLW tournament and this was the last day of the tournament and um, I was real I was I was um, right on the bubble for making the Forestwood Cup in this tournament and anyway the area that I was fishing was about a 60 mile run from the takeoff and when, once I got down there I, I, fe I felt that I needed probably 14 pounds or so that day to make the cup and also to you know, to have a good tournament because I was doing okay in the tournament. So anyway, I run down there 60 miles and I'm fishing. And to make a long story short, um, at the time that I had to leave, I had to leave in order to get back to weigh-in in time. I only had four fish and I knew I needed one more. I needed, I needed like a two pound fish in order to not only make a good check in the tournament, but to qualify for the Forestwood Cup. And and I've done this before and it's worked quite a bit in the past, but on that entire 60 minute run, all I did was visualize and fantasize what it would feel like for me to run back to the weigh-in area and pull up on a spot and catch a two pound fish and then run over to weigh-in with just a couple minutes left and make the Forestwood Cup and make a good check in the tournament. And for 60 miles, guys, 
I pretended how that would feel internally. Like I took a deep breath and I tried to picture the relief that would come over me. It's like I, I can imagine swinging that fish over the boat, putting it in the live well, breathing this huge sigh of relief that I've made the cup and made a good check in the tournament. And I did this over and over and over on the 60 mile run. And I pictured what it was like, you know, getting the check in my hand and getting my invitation to the Forestwood Cup. And I tried not only to picture it, but I tried to really feel what that would be like, how happy that would make me and how, how soothing it would be and how therapeutic. I did this for an entire hour on the way back there. I get up there guys, I've got like probably five to seven minutes to fish and I pull up on this one little rocky point over there and I made three casts on it and the third cast guys, I got a strike on my shaky head, I set the hook, felt like a good fish, fought it to the boat, it's a two and a half pounder, get it up to the boat, lip it in, put that two and a half pounder in the live well and the weigh-in was inside over there ran over to that weigh-in with like two minutes left, feeling the exact same thing that I was picturing myself how it would feel like. Made a good check, made the force would cut. Now, you might ask, okay, Randy, if that works so great, why don't, why don't you do it every time? Because it, for whatever reason, it doesn't work every time. But this, ha this same thing happened to Rick Clun. When Rick Clun told, won the Bassmaster Classic in 1990, he told me the same thing happened to him. I've heard it over and over again. The thing that we don't understand is we don't understand the dynamics of what allows this to happen. It's maybe it's some little glimpse into the uh, into the window of some type of ability that we have, but for whatever reason we can't access it all the time. Maybe we're not supposed to access it all the time. Maybe it's just something that happens once in a while to like, you know, keep our the the that entire perk of the mystery and the magic of the universe alive within it. But the point is, guys, is this has happened to me enough times, and it's happened to other anglers enough times, and it's also happened in other parts of your life, just creating the life that you want, creating the relationships you want, creating the home that you want, creating whatever. We have that ability to do that to some extent. I'm not saying that it's something, if it was something that works all the time, then we could just like have anything we want at the whim. It doesn't for whatever reason, it doesn't work all the time, but it is there. It's undeniable and it's real. It's an ability that every single one of us has. Now, the point of the video, as far as this is the skill that we all have as anglers, use this and spend your time when you're fishing out there, focus on what you're doing as far as focus on, you know, every single cast. When you make a cast out there, focus on what it's gonna feel like to get a bite. It's like expect to get that bite. When you make that cast out of there, instead of talking to your guy you're with in the, in the boat or instead of gotten your ear pods on or, or instead of looking at your freaking live scope or something like that, just picture what it feels like that shaky head or your jig's coming over rock and then you feel that bite and you set the hook. Picture that before it happens. And if you do that over and over again, you eventually create that result. And like I said, it's it's really magical and mysterious and wonderful when it happens out there. So um, it's something that every single one of us can do. It's just, uh, it's the, the intention of thought and desire, you know, putting thoughts out there, realizing that thoughts manifest, realizing that as human beings, we have been given this ability to form our own reality to a large degree from our thoughts. I, I don't, I think that's completely realistic as far as to say out there. If you look around people's lives and the lives that they have to a large degree, their lives are a result of their thoughts and expectations and intentions in life. And it's the same within fishing. So anyway, guys, that is the skill out there that nobody taps into. We all have it, play with it around a little bit. And uh, when it happens, you guys will, will really enjoy the experience out there. So hope it helps. We'll see you guys.